All right, in this tutorial, we will be referencing number 77, exercise 77, on page 9 of your textbook. So go ahead and, and turn to that page and problem now. Now what this problem is doing is it gives you a, well, it gives you a table of years and the consumer price index corresponding to those years. And in part A, it wants you to use the regression capabilities of your graphing calculator to find a mathematical model of the form. And it gives you the form y equals at squared plus bt plus c based on the data that's given. So it's giving you the form of the model, which makes the process a little bit easier. This is a, a quadratic. So we will use a quadratic regression. Now the first thing you want to do is to enter the information into two lists, just as they have it in the table. Now, as it says in the book, that last, that last phrase, with t equals zero corresponding to 1970, we'll put the years in the first list, so go to stat. It's already got the option that we need, edit, hit enter. Now if you have things in the list, just scroll up to the top, press clear, then hit enter. I'll do the same thing for this one. Clear, then enter. Now enter the years into the list. Notice again it says t equals zero corresponds to 1970. So instead of entering 1970, we'll enter zero for 1970, and then each year that it lists, what we'll enter in our list is the number of years it is from 1970. For, so for 1970, it's zero. For 1975, it would be 5, 1980 would be 10, 1985 would be 15, 1990 would be 20, 1995 would be 25, and the year 2000 would be 30. Now in the second list, we will enter in the corresponding consumer price index values. So for 1970, it's 38.8. 1975, it's 53.8. 1980 is 82.4. 1985 is 107.6. Make sure I get that right, 107.6. 1990 it's 130.7 95 is 152.4 and the last for 2000 is 168.7 now in this in this exercise it gives you the form y equals a t squared plus b t plus c your calculator will use x instead of t but essentially it will be the same form and again that's quadratic so you will go to stat scroll over to calc and then go down to choice five which is quad reg or reg which stands for quadratic regression hit enter now if you look at part B, it says use a graphing utility to graph the model and compare the data with the model. So we're going to go ahead and take care of graphing the model while we do the quadratic regression. First we want to enter in which list is the X list, put a comma in, then which list is the Y list. So we'll start with second L1 since that's where we entered the years comma, second L2, since that's where we entered the corresponding CPIs. Hit the comma again, and now we'll go ahead and have it graph that and by entering it into automatically into the Y equals menu. Press VARS, scroll over to Y VARS. It's already chosen function, so hit enter, and then we'll have it enter it into, enter the equation into Y1. So hit enter. Now once this is on your screen, hit enter once again. 
and it gives you the regression equation. This would, in the form that they have it in the book, represent y equals negative zero point, let's round it off to the thousands place, negative zero point zero one five x squared, or in your book would it would be t squared, plus four point nine nine seven t plus thirty four point nine four zero. And that's part A. That's that's the regression equation. That's the model for this quadratic regression. Now let's move on to part B, where it says to graph the model and compare the data with the model. Well, first we want to look and make sure that it entered the equation into our graphing menu, which it did. There's the there's the regression quadratic regression model. Now to graph the data values along with the regression model, we're going to have to use the scatter plot. So to graph a scatter plot, go to second, and then if you look right above y equals it says stat plot. We're going to want the first option uh, the first plot. Make sure it's on. Now this first type is a scatter plot. It will plot points basically based on the values in our two lists. We want to make sure the X list is list one, the Y list is list two, and then we can go ahead and leave the mark as it is. Now to make sure that our data values are all graphed on our graph, we need to change the parameters of the window. But because we're using a scatter plot, we can have the calculator give us a good approximation of what that window should be by going to zoom. Then if you scroll down to option 9, it's zoom stat. So it will zoom to any statistics plots, which in this case is the scatter plot we, we put in stat plot. So choose option 9, hit enter, and then it will graph both our model, which is this curve that goes through the points, and the data values themselves. So there's part B. Uh, we've used our graphing calculator to graph the model and compare the data with the model uh, by graphing the, the data values on the same graph as the model itself. Now for choice for part C it says use the model to predict the CPI for the year 2004. There are a couple of ways we can do that. First off let's Let's look how we can have our calculator do that for us using the graph itself. Uh, 2004 will correspond to the year 34, since t equals 0 at the year 1970. So first we're going to want to make sure that our x values include the year 2004. Right now they don't. Uh, so let's change this 34 or this 33 to include 34, let's make it 35. Now go back to graph. Press second and then the trace button. We want, we want to choose calc which is just above the trace button. If you look at that first option it says value. Hit enter and it will come up with x equals and the cursor will be blinking. Well we want x equals 34. We want the value of our model at for the year 2004, which is at x equals 34. So enter in 34 and hit enter. And our model predicts that the CPI in 2004 uh, would be 187.118. And that's how you would do this using the, the graph itself and the second calc value application. I said there were a couple of options. The other option is to use a table. It will take whatever function you have under Y1 and will give you a list of values similar to the table that's in the textbook or the two lists that we entered. So go to second and if you look just above window it says table set. Uh, we can start with 28, that, that's fine. And years only go up by one so that's fine. And then if you press second again and go to table, which is just above graph, 
in the X list you have the year values and the Y list you have the CPI values. So again that second table set which stands for table setup uh, start somewhere near where the value is you're wanting to look and then go to second table scroll down to 34 and rounded to the nearest hundredth that is the value we got by using the graph and, and if you scroll over to the actual value you can see it, it gives it a little bit more accurately to the thousandths place just like when we used uh, the value method using the graph so that's problem 77 it shows you how to do a quadratic regression uh, in subsequent sections you will learn how to do other types of regressions and determine how well that model fits the data values themselves.